In today's news, Google presents Android 12, an operating system optimized for large screens and folding mobiles. Also, with respect to Google, the Google Tensor CPU has better performance in the GPU section. And finally, Qualcomm introduced four new processors. We begin. Hey, Yamanali is here and welcome to a new video of this channel. Also, welcome to this new news section, Kelet News Top Tech or NTT, which precisely has the objective of presenting relevant recent technology news. This will be the first video and if they like it, remember to indicate it with a like. Before starting, remember to subscribe and activate the bell to find out about news videos. Without more than adding, we are going with the first news that has to do with Google and, and that is that Google presents Android 12, an operating system optimized for large screens and folding mobiles. If you are the owner of a tablet or a folding device, you are most likely interested in this news. Since Google has just announced Android 12L, which the company defines as the operating system optimized for devices with large screens or folding mobiles, Android 12L will be the solution for folding mobiles. Google is clear that folding mobile devices are here to stay. For that reason, it has just officially presented Android 12L an operating system with a redesigned interface for screens of more than 600 GP and thus make the most of these screen sizes. Coincidentally, this further enlivens the rumors of the existence of a pixel fold. With Android, with Android 12L, your large screen or foldable device will be much more productive since the necessary changes are made to make the most of the screen size, but in the notification panel, quick settings, lock screens, among others. In the official Android blog, an image was published that, that shows the notification panel divided into two. On the left side, we have the quick settings, multimedia and more, while on the right side, we have the notifications of application, message, among others. Having a larger screen opens the possibility of multitasking by dividing the screens. Android 12L adds, produ adds productivity function to multitasking, such as a curious task bar that will allow dragging the application that we want to open as a second screen. This, that's, this task bar will also work using gestures. Currently, Android 12L is already available throughout a preview for developers, which, this, which will help developers to prepare their applications to have compatibility with the different advantages that this customized operating system for folding mobiles will allow. For the month of December, we will already have the first beta and probably for the month of March 2022, the stable version. Following with on news from Google, the Google Tensor CPU has better performance in the GPU section. As you all know, Google's new CPU tablet Tensor disappoints a bit in the CPU sections, but it should be noted that the brand has said that it has not focused on CPU power, it had an approach to AI. But, but To add through, the result of a core is on par with the Snapdragon 870. In multi-core, a clear difference is seen. Now, there is a section in which the new Google Tensor chips stand out especially. We refer to its GPU, which in test has shown a product that theoretically places it as the SOC with the best GPU available in an Android phone so far. In this way, the Google Tensor chipset is presented as a balanced hardware that seeks to stand out in sections such as energy efficiency, graphic performance and artificial intelligence above all. 
my point of view about the score by the GPU has to do more than everything with the animations that Android 12 has. As you know, the GPU is in charge of processing all that section, so you need a relatively powerful GPU to be able to perform the smooth animations of Android 12. But it also requires a relatively powerful CPU in the course that have a small presence in those animations of the system. To finish with the video, we have the latest news that has to do with Qualcomm and that is that it has just present 4 new processors. Qualcomm announced yesterday 4 new processors for different ranges. The less specific processors it presents are Snapdragon 778G plus 5G which is the renewal of the Snapdragon 778, Snapdragon 695G, Snapdragon 684G and the Snapdragon 480 plus 5G. The first CPU, Snapdragon 778 plus 5G. This CPU is also based on the Creo 660 CPU cores, it can reach a new speed of up to 2.5 GHz. Also, it also has the same Adreno 642L GPU. The Qualcomm company ensures that is that it achieves a 20% better performance in this section. We will also find improvements for AI, 5G modem, wireless connectivity, and ISP spectra. The next CPU is the Snapdragon 695 5G. We have this new Snapdragon 695 5G CPU that will give us support for millimeter wave and sub 6 GHz 5G. It comes with 30% improved performance and, ha and a 15 higher capacity CPU. It is also based on the Creo 666 cores reaching up to 2.2 GHz and as a GPU, it has the Adreno 619. Finally, we will find, we will find support for millimeter wave 5G, so cheaper 5G smartphones should arrive soon. The next CPU is the Snapdragon 608 4G, being an option for 4G. This chip is manufactured in a 6 nanometer processor based on Creo 265 CPU cores and features Adreno 610 GPU. Comes with the Snapdragon X11 LTE modem, fast connect 6100 subsystem, Spectra 2000, Spectra 246 ISP and QC3 supports of Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 support. The idea is to equip it with the smartphones with a resolution in Full HD Plus and with a refresh rate of up to 90Hz. And the next CPU is the Snapdragon 480 Plus 5G. Finally, we have the Snapdragon 480 Plus that is focused on the low end of the smartphones, which is manufactured in an 8 nanometer process with Creo. 460 CPU cores and has the Adreno 619 GPU. It won't come for cheap equipment with 5G since it has a Snapdragon X51 modern 5G RF system, Full HD Plus support, and 120 refresh rate, Spectra 345 ISP, and support of Qualcomm Quick Charts for Plus. Well, here comes today's new video, the first video of this entity or new stop tech section. If you like the video, remember that you can indicate it by means of a like or also by means of a comment. Remember to subscribe and incidentally activate the bell so you don't miss any video from this channel. Remember to share it with your tech fanatic friends, I am Emmanuel and, and without further ado we will see you in a new video.
Thanks for watching.